This is the story of Survivor. Survivor. Luke was 12 years old, three years ago, and we were hunting in a buddy stand on a small piece of property that we have, and had a few good deer coming in, nothing really, really big, and we did have a nice little seven-pointer, two and a half year old, and we were getting to the point where, you know, me and Brady had been letting a lot of the two and a half year olds walk, and uh, but Luke was young and hadn't really killed a lot of deer, and he said, Dad, I want to take him. I said, it's totally up to you. So, I made the shot, and in real speed on video, it looked to be a good shot and that the bolt just didn't pass through it. But since we had it on video, we decided that we was gonna review the footage in slow motion. We did, and it was high in the shoulder, in the dead zone, where there's no vitals or anything behind it to make a fatal shot out of it with a bow. Plus, it, it, the bolt did not get much penetration. Didn't get much penetration. So we pulled out, went back the next morning, and probably went 200 yards and found maybe two drops of blood and just grid searching for this deer. And we never found him. We didn't think that we would ever see this deer again. Till about a month, month and a half later, we get the picture. We get a picture of this deer on camera at the same spot, just not time. And he's got a mark up there on the shoulder where I hit him at. And you can tell that pretty rough looking place. Yeah, pretty rough, rough looking place. And so we didn't know if the deer was gonna make it. We was hoping he would. And so I hunted the rest of the year, that year, for this deer, hope, hoping to end it. And so 2017 season is past us, and yep. 2018 season is here. 2018, 2018, he shows back up, still carrying his scar. He did not get much bigger. He gained a point, so he became an eight-pointer. Still had that kind of narrow, tall frame. Um, but we hoped Luke could kind of get revenge and put him down. So Luke hunted pretty hard for him. Uh, Brady hunted the area some, too. No daylight encounters while we were hunting. So just pictures, pictures here and there. 28 came and gone. And 2019 season is upon us. And we had we got pictures of him in velvet just before that they shedded their velvet, and then started getting several, several more pictures. Yeah, I think we were we were in his home turf. Yeah, uh, for sure. And then beginning of October, he disappears. And yep, shortly after he sheds his velvet, yes. you'll get a few pictures. And yes, we hunted and we tried to get on him, but yep. he was vague in the daytime, mostly night. Yep, and then. Disappears in October, and this is about mid-November, I think. I got permission on a piece of property about 500 yards from there, another small piece of property. And I'm, I went in that morning, looked at the property, came back that afternoon, hung a stand, and hunted that evening. I wasn't in there long, and I had deer on me. And I was in there about 15, 20 minutes, and I seen him up at the other end. On, not on my property, on another piece of property. And I watched that deer for an hour and a half, two hours. And I was like, Lord, just let this deer come down here. And he did. It was, I had about 15 minutes of shooting light left and he came to 15 yards with three other does, three or four, maybe it might've been more than that. There was big does and compound caught me in mid draw, blue, took off. Never had another daylight picture till after 2019 season, after just 2019. before they shedded their antlers. And I don't know if Luke said it or not, but from 2018 to 2019, he did ex yes. expand he a lot with his growth. He got quite a bit bigger. Yeah, actually. Good Still stayed bigger. an eight pointer, though. Uh, his tines are small, but his, his rack uh, sits high up off his head. Main beams and the. the, the yeah. So things. 2019 season is gone. And 2019 season is upon us. 2020. 2020 season is upon us. 2020 is upon us. 2020, we got pictures again. Same way as we've had the years before. He shows up in velvet. 
uh, loses his velvet. We still got some pictures here and there. And then all of a sudden, October the 12th, uh, our original piece of property, he disappears. Get a few pictures at the other property where mm -hmm. Luke's hunting. Here and there, mostly nighttime. And then he disappears from there. Uh, didn't have a picture of him at all again till December the 5th and 10th where Luke hunts. Mm -hmm. And so it come around December the... 20th, 19th, 18th. 18th, December 18th, took Luke hunting, uh, like I said, we'd had a picture on the 10th and 12th where mm -hmm. Luke was hunting, and so his property, where he's hunting is not far from where I'm hunting, I said, well, I'm gonna hunt, you know, and uh, didn't, wasn't really expecting to see him at all, because we hadn't had a picture where I was hunting since October the 12th, I'm pretty sure, yep, but nonetheless, we're sitting there, I had a few does come in, seen movement off down below and, and for some reason I thought right then that's that's a buck and if it's a buck I bet it's gonna be survivor just I don't know I, I don't <laughs> know why but I had that feeling mainly because I'd rather Luke shoot him but anyway um he come in with 12 minutes of shooting light left it's pretty thick wood so there was no camera light at all and uh I just asked the Lord I said Lord if um you give me a broadside shot at small amount of yardage <laughs> i'm going to take it yep and i'd asked luke several times i think if i shot survivor if he's going to be mad and he said no he said i'll be mad if you let him walk so um the good lord gave me the shot and i took it appeared to be a good shot to me it sounded good everything looked good but you know how things happen fast and you're not sure but anyway i didn't tell him i thought well i'm gonna get down look at the bolt i was using crossbow and uh i did i got down checked the bolt out and it was dark dark blood gritty it did not look good it looked like a gut shot but i thought well i'll go pick luke up i'll call the wife and brady and have them meet us over here just in case we'll look a little bit a little bit further i didn't want to go far but we'll look a little further and check out the blood after I go get Luke. And uh, so I called them, headed over to pick him up, and I pulled up. And I was really, really trying to hold the, the face in, the, the smile, and just act like it was a normal evening <laughs> of not seeing much. But, yeah, and uh, he, he he looked at me and he asked me again, "Are you gonna be mad if I shoot Survivor?" And I I looked at him like kind of weird looking almost, and I said, "No," like. Uh, why he said no like, why yeah like <laughs> why because you've asked me before and he said i shot him i got him and we hugged and we looked at the bolt and uh dark J jane and brady dark met us over there i, I wanted we, lots of good eyes yeah. mine are getting old but uh. <laughs> we uh went back and it, around the scene it was dark gritty blood it at the scene and the arrow uh, suggested liver or guts and if it was truly liver or guts we did not want to push this deer it was going to be cold overnight down in the low 20s so we backed out and we called a good friend of ours who's actually a neighbor and he was like i ain't doing nothing tomorrow i'll come out there and i'll help you so we show up the next morning real early just after we could see pretty much um and we trailed um, the dark, gritty stuff for a little ways, and then it just stopped. 15, maybe 20 yards. I don't yep. Know. And then it was 10, 15 yards of absolutely nothing, just where we could tell he had broke limbs or disturbed the ground, and we were just following that the best we could. And then it started getting into a light red. Yeah, bright, bright red blood. Bright, bright red. Looked a lot better. Yeah, suggested lungs. So we're thinking, you know, he's shooting a 2.3 inch rage. So one of them big blades might have reached out and clipped the lung. And if so, great. And we followed that for about 10 yards. I look up and he's just dead right there, 15 yards away from us. Yeah, he didn't make it 50 yards, if that. Yeah. So the bad part, you know, maybe we could have seen him with the light, but where he run, it was really, really thick. So we still feel like yeah. we made the right decision on base, based coyotes, on what we saw. Coyotes didn't get to him, and all the meat was salvaged, and we'll be eight. Yes. Soon, probably. And he'll be on the wall, hopefully yep. soon. Yep. 
But right, enjoy the video. Yeah, we'll let the footage of us. What we do have. What we do have of us recovering the deer and the events that took place after the shot. Hope you enjoy. On. Dude, he didn't go nowhere. Oh, he died quick. Look, he's stiff on the board. I said, look. look perfect shot, oh, man. Oh, let's go. Perfectly. And no coyote Holy got to him. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Oh, oh man. Look at him. He's, he's older, too, you know. What look a deer. Face. Look. All right, Mama wants to know, boys. Look, he's been rubbing trees. Look yeah, how fresh yes. that is. Yes. Oh, he's dead, though. <laughs> I did get a little bit of something there. <laughs> I just started looking at the ground and it was just like red <coughs> down through there and I just looked up and seen Wait his rat. Him last night. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was dead. Yeah, look, look at the lungs, dude. Oh shit, go ahead. You hit him right in the lungs. Oh, <coughs> See, what I called it, I called that. Are I, you kidding me? He had to be slightly. She says, call me. Yeah. Because I'm going to be driving. She don't answer. Please. Good. Well, thank you, Lord. Yeah. Look at the scent glands on this deer. It's been three years you've been after him? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted Luke to shoot this deer. Yeah. But there was no way. He's nice and Broadside at 18, 19 yards that I was going to let him walk. He's big and though, isn't he? He is. He's nice. He's going on the wall. Oh, yeah. Right here. Oh, that man's stiffer than his salt. It don't take you long to get out of breath, does it? No. Look at them lands. He's still rutting. Oh, he, yeah. He was in there a few days. He come in grunting. Oh, he did. Just, just a light little grunt walking in on them does. Oh, it's a nice little tug right here. Gosh. Oh, All right, I'm done, Luke. I'm done. Ready? Yep. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, love y'all. <laughs> All right. Yep. Landon said, I bet Luke is sore. Perfect. About perfect shot. I believe you killed that baby. Bit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, honey. I'd be ashamed if I killed a baby like that. Good Why'd miss. you let him do that? He's wide enough. He's rubbing trees. Mm, is that where you got it, Melanie? That's where I hit him. The exit's what was bad. He must have. <coughs> Mama, the exit's like right here on the shot. other side. Yeah. He, he buckled on him. All right, so we got this deer caked out here for a mount. Because right here's our evidence is this right here. There is an indention right here where I hit him at and it is not three like that ago. on the other side and that was three years ago so three that's the ago. scar right there <clears throat> and it's not like that on the other side so that gives us confirmation this was the same deer that I shot three years ago. Yep, thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, a hunter is only as good as his beard. Ah. Maybe that's what he needs.